Oh, hey ladies and gents, guys and gals, welcome back to La Coronella with me with console for part number uh, 17. Just down. Yeah, I'm gonna need to fill that up in wood pretty soon. Um, right, so in the last episode, as you know, we. Uh, let me bounce up to the map. We went ahead and we got ourselves our digester down. Oh, well, you can just see it over there in the distance. Uh, digest separator, sorry. So I went ahead, I've just filled up the rest of manure, put lime down a little. I don't think it's going to make any difference to this at all if you use lime or not. I, I have a sneaking suspicion it's not going to make one it's a difference to even fertilize this ground because it's, you know, it's, it's production, it's not. Uh, you know, it's not planting it. So I don't think make a f you know I don't think it's gonna make a difference put it like that. Uh, but we'll see. Our digest separator, as I said, is over here. It's working full time. Uh, we've still got our uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, white on the job there. As you can see. Um, what I'm going to do this episode, I'm going to spend some more money because I invested in a small kabuta with a shovel and a uh, pallet forks. Skid steer. And I thought maybe we'd start working on getting greenhouses up in the lot, but we'll have purchased them yet. We're going to have the kabuta in this year, aren't we? So, now I know where I am, I'll go to the map. Sheep are fed. Good, good, good. Cows are good. I haven't got a lot of manure out of it. Like, uh, so if I go to the map, find out exactly where I am, which is somewhere over here. Hit X. Buy that. Forty-nine. Now oh, here, yeah, that's that's less than I thought. Right, so we now own this bad boy uh, and all of this stuff. As far as I know, you to put. Seeds and pallets and separately for every single one of them. So let's go ahead. Uh, I have 10 pallets of seeds here. I'm just going to go ahead and sort of double up. And put two of them in each just to, to see how it goes. Oh, oh, there's two separate ones over here, okay. So, why didn't the seeds get in there? I honestly don't know. Where's the trigger? Uh, right, they're inside the trigger lock. I don't know how well that'll come across on the recording. But you can see the yellow lines there, or the orange lines. They're definitely inside the trigger. We have to put pulse in first. No pulse are left over here. Hey. I'm going to take one by the uh, one call it each anyway, so let's go ahead. Oh. Oh, the pilots are going in. Okay, uh, we'll wait, we'll put water in it. So 
water punch is there as well, which is pretty handy. There's a little one there. It does say it's taking vegetable seed there. Um, you can see the wee, the wee symbol there. See, it does go off of that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. The greenhouse is bugged too. Ah. Definitely vegetable seeds. Seems simple on the fill indicator for the, the forks as it is on the a bit dodgy, but we'll try it. Um, I really don't know. Maybe the seeds only go into one place. Out of our uh, digest separator. We'll not sort of fill that right up because obviously I need to. Uh, well, I was going to say make room for all of it, but I'm not going to have enough for. Uh, let's just put about three, three thousand in this one, three thousand in the other one. Slightly more than all that, but height. Uh, get a geese. Let's go ahead. Um, I'm just going to send this back to the farm. There's no point sending it to this, uh, the digest separator because it's. Uh, it hasn't got very much in it, anyway. Uh, Scott was saying. For episode number 10, I know this is like 16 or 17 or whatever it is, uh, great video, well thank you very much for that. Uh, the augers are a big help for the masters, definitely. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking how I can automate this to, to do it better, or can do it more. I haven't really decided much though, so um, I think I'll just have to wait and see how it, uh, how it goes. But I am a bit. See, we, uh, a bit um, perplexed by this because I thought this was just going to be a simple, you know. Realistically, that should be working there. Let's get you out of the way. Right, you see, so it's got manure, it's got pallets, right? It's got everything it needs. Uh, but doesn't have seeds. Where do the seeds go then? Oh. Nowhere near. Nowhere near where they're meant to go.
This is just weirdness. What kind of voodoo is this? It's voodoo, I'm telling you, voodoo! Okay, so tomorrow's over going. Let's go and get some more water. Uh, case has flashed. to have this nice wee area for greenhouses, it's just out of the way. Um, it is set up on auto drive, but uh, I mean, I'm not sure how to, how we're going to even automate all the water and stuff in it, so, because it doesn't do multiple triggers, it just does one, and, oh well, just need a bigger water tanker maybe, fill one up at a time. It's also nice to have a water point quite close. Though know, you'd think with a water po point quite close you could just pump it in, but hey. What would be nice is, remember I think it was in uh, 17, I think there was a version of 19 as well, uh, that, that you know, built a, a top outside your uh, animal pens. It'd be nice to have that back, but also available to use in sort of all the productions to take water as well, like the greenhouses and stuff, that would be pretty cool. The animal pen extension or whatever it was called, I can't remember. That would be pretty good to have that back, yeah. Let's go ahead, get some water in here. Let's see if we can get this done with the skid steer. Now we know sort of know where to put it. rather than, you know, lifting it with their hand. I guess we can get these up and going. Small bloody trigger too. Why does it have to be so high to actually get to get it to work? Answers in the postcard. So we're going to be doing a bit more manual work this time around. I didn't realise just how much though. <laughs> pallet physics seems to have got better. Uh, the pallet handling seems to have got better in this version of the game. But sometimes it can be a bit tricky getting them in. Right, how reach this either like the That'll do. I still don't know why I have to go that high to get them in, but hey. Need some pallets down here as well, don't we? We need some pallets in a second or two. No, no, pallets went in there, okay. Let's see. I just need pallets down in the first one. I'm still a bit confused about this, um... Oh, 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 oh. 
Uh, why this has to be so high up to get the palace empty? It'd be nice to have, you know, the siege over there where the palace are, where the, the sign is. This is kicking in. Hard morning at work. Uh, so, water coming now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm starting to like this map. Um, I don't get me wrong, Michael Hill enjoyed. This map seems to be a bit more intricate. I mean, we haven't even gone on to the production stuff side of things yet. Um, factory sort of side of things. Don't even know how much they cost. But we're going to need to get um, get our uh, money up first of all before we do any of that sort of stuff. Um, we're going to need more fields as well to keep them fed. Hopefully auto drive can keep on top of that. And water for the last one boys over here. Should be all through the greenhouses with water and growing. Yep. Lettuces are going. Our tomatoes are going. Tomatoes, whatever way you want to pronounce it from the whatever country you're from. So that's the greenhouses up and going. Excellente. I'll leave you here because I'll probably come back and fill in with water in a minute. What was the other thing I was going to do this uh, episode? Oh, God, tiredness has kicked in big time. Um, I got that, got that. That's there, that's your kid. Uh, yeah, you're all good, you're all good, you're all good. Grass, that was it. Um, I will just get some grass fields to get for the sheep. grass is growing. It's not fully growing. Um, the reason I'm cutting it now is because if I leave it too much longer I might not get a, a, oh, cut, a second cut off it um, whenever it comes to later on the year. Maybe I'll get a third cut off it if you know you cut it when it's short like that. But here's the question. Do you get if you cut it three times, would you get as much as you do for letting it grow? If you only cut it twice, would it grow a bit longer? Ha ha, see, now there is the question. Um, I obviously don't know the answer, but hey. Right, so, first way point is down right somewhere over there. There we are, oh. Gonna say first way point away you go. Uh, yeah. Nice. I like, I like. And you take 
slurry. So I'm going to be able to use this pretty soon because I'm going to be able to get slurry in there. I have 11,000 litres. Just waiting on the tanker finishing over there with uh, the digest it. And I should be able to get some solid manure over here as well to get this started. As well. Um, whenever I get some more manure built into that. I do have another, I think it's a cauliflower garden patch on the map. Um, I'm not going to buy it just now. Quite honestly, I need to save some money to get some stuff for logging during the winter. Um, I have a load of olives though. Uh, olives are over here. Uh, or, uh, over, over here. Yeah. So about 126,000 olives. So what I was thinking... Over here, oh, wrong one. That one there. Over here, and I know it's over here because it's over by our pallet company. Is this place here? I'm going to jump to it. Uh, let's visit that. And uh, pallet, go, pallet, go, pallet, go over this way. Yeah, here it is. So yeah. Seems to be able to take olives and gives you out olives and olive leaves. Uh, but I'm wondering, is this uh, what goes on here? Oh, there's the olive leaves come out there. Um, I'm wondering here. Uh, if I can find it. Is it the back? So, it's, oh, it's up that way. There's like a tree rose, and I'm wondering if they're actually properly. Uh, Olive trees. Oh, right, okay. That, I want to find out. Now, I'm going to find out how much it is, because uh, 273,000, I think I might have enough. Because, you know, ultimately, things in this map aren't as expensive as I thought they were going to be. So, um, I'm thinking maybe starting with that. Let's go ahead, go into here. We'll hit X. We own the olive trees anyway, okay. So they're just decoration. The olive trees are part of the uh, the outside of the map and then the rivers and stuff then. That's fine. Uh, okay, so they're not actually proper olive trees. Um, do I... I so that's almond pistachio olive grove okay because that's another that's another um, it's not a La Cornella mod but I could if I wanted to actually um, change that olive grove back into an olive grove proper olive grove up there uh, which I think we might do in a bit. I'm gonna have to go on though, and um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take those trees out with uh, the giant's editor. Which is probably gonna have to happen. But let's go ahead, let's hit X. How much is this gonna cost me? Well, I only 75 grand. Oh, it's a steal. Right, so we've got that now. Let's go ahead. Uh, where did my case go? Should be up here. Where's it there? Let's get a trailer of olives and we'll head over that direction and uh, get all drive set up to do it manually, I think. So, olives. Oh, wrong one. Back. That one. Okay. Uh, so I'll take it from maybe here. Get that trailer a bit further back. Come around here like so. I think this is a single way course. Bring it round. 
out, 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 out. Reverse to the fill icon. Fill. Hey, there we go. Not the fastest fill, but hey. Taking his time. Do you know we've done a lot more uh, work on olives and that in this map, so we might as well get that production up and going first. It, it takes a lot of work, and I don't really want to sell the olives and that because, as I said before, it it takes quite a bit of uh, manual labour to get the olives and almonds and that. So I'd rather not sell them and just to put them, you know get their. Um, get the productions up and going as quick as possible then. And I think when I'm in GE fixing the Olive Grove, I'll fix them pillars as well to have no collision. Because Auto Drive doesn't recognize them. Or, or sorry, Course Play doesn't rec... Or, course Play does not recognize them as uh, being there. So it doesn't treat it like an island. Unfortunately, I did try that on somewhere was here. I can't remember if it was on this one or the other field. That I did try to see if I could get that to work properly. So why are you not cut? So, my case again over here. For what we need to do is name that. So, farm all of store out. Hopefully, this works. So, let's go ahead. We'll name that. Uh, farm all of. Oh. Store out. Yay. Let's get a reverse on it. And I think the easiest thing for me to do is just send this to Pallet Pallet Co. See me getting lost on the way out there. So let's go ahead, Pallet Go. Pallet Go Go. We'll get over here and we'll find out where everything goes. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So yeah, uh, so far this map has been actually all right. I'm you know enjoying it quite much. Um, we have now got let's see where's my stats. Uh, that one there. 159 hours. Wow, already. 159 hours and it barely went anywhere. I think a lot of it's been uh, contracts. That's um, interesting. Okay, so. Uh, why does that say on the little combine? On the course play window? I don't know. I don't know where you could use course play in this. If you use the unload combine on, on the course play box, as it shows here, or here, and then just have that set up instead of combine, it's fill it, field whatever, and empty it, field whatever, would that work? Or target the field and empty it, that. I I'd be, um, be interested to find that out, actually. Let me try that. We'll see how it goes. Let me try it. Let me try it. So, we're on our way out to Palico. How far have we got to go? Oh, it's just straight out this road. I mean, I can't get lost, can I? Uh, let me take over because I can do it quicker. Uh, I do have a speed limiter on this because it does take corners a wee bit too fast and tends to uh, crash. Oh, just like that. 
He's a better driver than that mode drive. <laughs> We've got milk over there as well, haven't we? No, maybe not. See what I mean? Slides all over the place, you go too fast. Oh, come on. Give us a swath or give me a break here. Come on. How did you get stuck on that? Oh my god. Alright, so back to the case tractor. And we'll head straight on out here. In hindsight, from the start, the only thing I think I would do different is not have uh, auto drive network generate on the splines for the uh, in game helpers. That just turned out to be a bit of a nightmare, actually. Right, so here we are at our olive place, whatever you call this. I'm going to stop here, I'm going to run in, so fill empty into there, okay. It's almost empty out to there. It's not empty, it's up to there, which is filled for leaves. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's get all the drive set up with this. So, pick that up. I think what I'll do is I'll do this as a two big course at the minute. So that one there, just to bring it in, because it's not quite tight open. To the bit there. Let's get me turned around. I'll do the other direction. one here and we'll bring it around again there there and back two way course done uh do this and why have you done that again? Oh, it's because it was rolling backwards when I pressed it wasn't it? Take that off. So if I do that and bring it in here first of all get right underneath this. Okay and I'm going to call that olives Clean olives? Is it clean olives you call it in this map? Uh, clean olives out. Right. So I'm going to put this right round here. I'll take it right up so I'll straighten up. Like so. And I'm going to go straight back. that 
there. Now I know that that's the wrong way, but I'm going to go ahead now and go like that, so that makes that good. Uh, let's name the olive drop as well before I forget. Uh, I'm just going to name it Olives In. Because I don't know the name of this place. I still don't know that, we should probably find out. Uh, have we seen the spanner? There's it there. Right, so this is the Olive Cleaner, okay? So clean all oh clean olives, I got that right. Hey, there you go. I only does sixty thousand at a time though, okay. Um So let's jump back on here. So we've got that all done, right? So I'm gonna to uh create a new folder. Uh I'm gonna call it olive cleaner production. Just to know what it is. And let's go ahead and close this down. Okay, close down as well. Let's get that. And so, okay, it's going to close down. Digest. Yeah, so olives could go into the olive cleaner production. Uh, clean olives out. Same thing. Right, so. We have, at the minute, uh, let's close that, got that set up, but we haven't got any way of taking the, clay, the olive leaves out yet, so what I'm going to do is, from this point, because I don't want it reversing every time when I'm going up to do this, so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you're going to go on my track, and I'm going to come out to here, like so. Uh, then I'm gonna turn it off. I'll drive up a bit. We'll make that this be better two way. All right, and then I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna come around a bit, make it a single track. Cause I'm gonna need to try and reverse this in. So if I take a big sweep here, drive it up there. Let's turn around. How far am I off? Not that far, actually. Straight back. Or as straight as you can make it. That should be okay. And then I'm going to drive straight out around like this until I hit here. Get an way point there. Yeah. And I'm going to attach that to that. Um, before I go anywhere, let's name this. Don't know what good olive leaves do. Like, uh, where do they go? Uh, duh, don't know. Um, so, go ahead, we'll name that uh, olive leaves out. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and stick that sh straight uh, form. We put that into the farm. Uh, farm, there you go. Uh, olive leaves out. Go into your olive cleaner place. There, okay. Let's close that down. And let. Oh, we still do we course to get out of here, haven't we? Is that just the path that goes out over there? Uh, can't get out that way. Too sharp to turn for a tractor and a trailer to go out through that arch, so I'm gonna have to bring it back in through this way. So let's come back down to here. We we'll just completely go back to this one. We'll hit it a single way course again. And what we'll do is we'll just drive out and attach it to here. I doubt we'll ever have more than one tractor doing anything up here. Um, so I'm not really worried about, you know, 
having things collide or anything like that there. So let's go ahead, uh, we'll set this up to go to uh, Phil, that one there, at the farm. So, main farm, olive store out. Uh, dump it at uh, olive cleaner, olives in, and olives. Olives, 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 olives. Learn your alphabet. Uh, olives, there we go. Bang. And that should be that, guys. That's that filling. So I'm going to call that episode 17 at 40 minutes. Yeah, we'll get one of these days. We'll get it on our half hour plant. And I shall see you all in episode 18. So bye bye for now.